weaving the fabric of tradition. This Taiwanese tailor still makes the chi pao by hand. The famous Chinese dress's popularity may be sliding, but he wants to keep the yarn spinning for years to come. I am in my 70s now, and I teach my pupils as much as I can, and hopefully they can strike out on their own in the future. One of his students is hoping to do just that and open her own boutique. The chi pao is so beautiful. I hope to learn and pass on the traditional craft in Taiwan. The chi pao was the must-have dress in 1920s Shanghai and was popular here in Taiwan until just a generation ago. But these days it's mostly reserved for formal occasions. One group of enthusiasts has formed its own club, organizing outings to workshops such as this one. As I get older, it's a pity that not as many women are wearing them now. I'm very nostalgic of the qi pao and feel that it best represents the elegance and beauty of ethnic Chinese women. But all is not lost. A new generation of tailors is emerging. Li Wei Fan studied and worked for five years with a master before opening his own shop. With the Asian market on the rise, those of us who have a rarer craft will be more competitive. And therein the challenge, marrying old and new to ensure the cheap power can be enjoyed for generations to come.